Good morning, my soccer universe. The test is gonna be a relatively short one because there are only really three games of note that were yesterday played, and most of them um, in, in France and Germany. Uh, tonight is a biggie between Real Madrid and Barcelona at the Camp Nou, and actually. We have to see whether Messi will be playing. <laughs> I almost want to say I'm. Uh, I'm not sure if I should watch it because it's kind of late for me. If Messi is not playing, I'm not sure if it's so. Um, if it will be that great game, but then the last Clasico was also. I mean, there was also um, Messi missing and Suarez took over. So yeah, we have to see how it goes. Uh, the games I want to talk is first of all uh, Marseille against Bordeaux, which was a makeup, uh, which did not have any big implications now for the league itself, except that both could maybe find this, um, you know, get a little bit in touch with the Euro uh, Europa League spots, but really not more than that. Uh, Marseille got the win in front of a very empty stadium because of crowd trouble uh, band no palotelli no payette uh and you know i hate uh, games behind closed doors there's usually the atmosphere is horrible you maybe get a little bit more to know how the game is played from the player's perspective but yeah uh, it doesn't prevent stupid tactics like the one from uh the bordeaux player from behind flying a uh, well-deserved red card and I have to say Marseille Bordeaux is one of those games uh, with classic jerseys that just look great uh, visually and yeah so Marseille from a header gets the win uh, now is in touch with Strasbourg although Strasbourg has a game less um, remains to be seen there's still a chance one would think um, and the other game that I really want to talk about is, is uh, Dortmund at home uh, to Bremen in the German Cup where Bremen took a very early lead that was equalized by Reus uh, right before half time both after a free kick I'm getting this not cold um, game goes to overtime. I didn't see the game. I, I could have watched it, but I, I really decided to take another break. Sorry, I have to sneeze. <coughs> so yeah, the game uh, went then to overtime. Um, what I saw is that the um, lineup of Dortmund seemed, at least in the defense, like a second string lineup uh, until I read now. They have a lot of players down to, to uh, virus. So it was on the third string goalkeeper playing who actually made quite some saves. Um, so the game goes to overtime where I think Pulisic uh, puts Dortmund uh, in the lead. Was equalized by Pizarro. Uh, seemingly for a very acute angle. Then um, uh, Dortmund in the 113th, I think, takes the lead again, and you might think that uh, they're gonna make it, but no, Harnik equalizes, and then uh, it goes to penalties in Dortmund, and the first two Dortmund penalties are missed, and so Bremen moves on kind of a little bit surprisingly. I'm, as always, yes, it is nice to win the German Cup, and the German Cup has actually quite some value. I mean, uh, that's a competition that almost everyone in Germany really take seriously. Uh, I have not seen I have not seen Bayern really fielding a second string squad unless they play against a low opponent. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of blow for Dortmund on the other side, you know. They play Champions League against Tottenham. Uh, that game, it's still uh, one of all of those where I don't know where this is gonna go. And uh, they also uh, want to probably concentrate a little bit more on the league because you know you have seven points but you never know what Bayern is going to do and the other German Cup result was of course um, Leverkusen playing at Heidenheim and losing 1-0 that's also a little bit of an embarrassment I think um, a high as far 
Hamburg was also beating Nuremberg, but that is a little bit less surprising because I mean Hamburg is uh, a really close uh, or will be most likely promoted again and Nuremberg is more looking like relegation so you know uh, this is not necessary that big of a surprise I think those teams are run on equal footing so we'll see how it goes well that was it hope I don't talk a lot more about the classical tomorrow I'm leaning watching but I'm not 100% sure anyway I hope you enjoyed my trip around Europe I actually have a very interesting video on how to remove stains from your soccer jerseys <laughs> this is the first one. Uh, can't, I hope you will enjoy. I had a lot of fun doing that, that one and I think the result was quite good. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the games yesterday. Um, give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.